Send it. Gucci, do I look okay? How's the light? Am I good? You don't look the best, but... Standard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm out on the lake with my good buddy Hunter. He's actually behind the camera right now. Huge thanks, brother. Uh, we are out trying to chase some big fall fish. So we're going to be cycling through the fall lure categories. Hunter and I both are going to give you guys some tips and hopefully we're going to catch some big fish. The goal for the day is 20 pounds. Hunter actually said I think 25, a little higher, 25 pounds. Um, so we've got six or seven hours to get that done and hopefully we'll be able to make something happen. Let's go catch some big ones. We're gonna focus today a bit on creeks. Like I think that's really the biggest thing I wanna check. I feel like this time of year in water temperature, which is 63 right now, and it's been consistently dropping, that this is when you're gonna find a lot of the bait and bigger fish following them are going to run up into these creeks. So Hunter and I are pulling into one of the bigger creeks on the lake. I'm gonna run through this and check quite a few more. That's something else that this time of year, like not every creek is gonna fish amazing. Like you gotta find the right ones. So hopefully this one works. Hunter's starting off with a little spinnerbait action. Those were turtles, right? Yeah, those were turtles. I'm gonna throw a little crankbait. I'm gonna try to cover some water, fish some grass lines, fish deep, shallow, look for bait on the scope, which we found. Maybe throw a little glide bait. Jig. I don't know. What else? What else do you think? What else do you like to throw this time of year? The A rig's always a player. A rig is definitely a player when, when you can find them deep. When they're keyed in on bait, yes. it's so much easier when you're throwing five instead of one. True. Which also is why a spinnerbait works. Agreed. Hey! Good one! Good one! Is that my PB? No, dude. It's like a five pounder. Come here. Oh, God. Let's go! <laughs> this lake is cool. <laughs> yeah, that's like. Uh, that's a high five. That's a fi five. What the eight, hell? Four. Nice, dude. Okay. Was that on the little blade? Yeah. Hell yeah. Sweet. Bingo. Some some slight little pad is decent. His was funny because when he broke his the handle, he was just like he took one step back and was got him. First, second cast with the crankbait. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not big. It's not bad though. Yeah. Look at all the bad, dude. Hey. I like it, dude. I never catch crankbait fish. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Up. Ah, relax. Yeah, he'll work. Smallest fish in there, but I'll... hey, you know what? Let's just see what we can get for a bag today. How about that? John tried to yank it. Oh no! And the kid turned around to look at it. Uh huh. Passes out. Yeah. Hits his head on the ground. Like. Yeah. Oh wow. That sounds terrible. That's like real bad. One look back, it's just like passed out. Yeah, some people are like that with blood, man. Got him! Oh, dude, on the glide! First cast! Let's go, dude. First cast, I picked that thing up. I was like, this looks like the perfect spot for a glide bait. He smoked it! Oh my god. On the phony, that's another five. He's smaller than yours, but what were we saying? 20 pounds, 25 is what we're looking for. That's a decent fish right there. Take him. Some good big fall bass, baby. 
I love when you make a bait switch like that, or like you see a line, you're like, this would be perfect for a spinner bait or for the glide bait or for a jig, and you pick it up and literally get an immediate response. That is like, I, like, dude, beautiful. Fish them. <laughs> it would have been fun. I do. I think they're just trying to make it more like the elite Oh, God, that was awesome, dude. Oh, it's a little pickerel. Yeah, he's not bad. That was so sick. I was just bringing it back, and I'm slow retrieving it. Chill, chill, bud. And I just paused it for like a half a second. Knocked it. Slimy boy. All right, so Hunter and I just fished through the back end of this creek. We've got four fish in the live ball right now for roughly 14 pounds. We're looking for a limit and some bigger fish, obviously, to get to our 25 pound mark. I don't know if we're gonna hit it, but it's a decent start. So far we've caught fish on the Mega Bass Spinnerbait, which Hunter had a really cool small one. It's like 3 8 ounce, but the overall profile of it compared to most other 3 8 ounce spinnerbaits that I've thrown is significantly smaller. So I think that that is definitely something that is coming to play with catching some of these fish. And then I caught one on a crankbait, which was the rock crawler, kind of in the crawfish pattern. And then obviously one on the phony shad glide. We're gonna go run around and fish a couple more creeks, get to the backs of the creeks, fish our way out, looking at the grass lines and focusing on areas that have somewhat deeper water next to this shallow water grass. And then we're gonna hop out and fish some main lake grass lines as well. So, I don't know. What do you think, Hunter? We just need to catch more fish. Let's catch more fish. Let's do it. Limit dues. All right. So so far. So the day's been pretty good. We've got five fish in the boat. Couldn't find a real giant to make the limit, but at least we got the limit. That's the biggest deal. It was like, it got pretty tough there for a minute. It was good though. So we're gonna try to seal it off with a giant coal, like giant coal. Oh, I guess this works. Oh, baby! Is that a, okay. <laughs> He's not gonna help the big bag. You're looking for what? 10 times that? Okay. 20. <laughs> That's being generous with you. You're as advanced as we are. You just gotta throw love to the small guys. I think you're right. You know what I mean? I mean, I love me some small fish. Got him. And this one is not small, buddy. It's not big either, but I'll take it. That'll help. It'll call. Yeah! He's three pounded, two and something. Look at him, still trying to swim. All right, I followed old Hunter P. Smith's technique there with the spinnerbait. Picked up a spinnerbait. This is a depth spinnerbait actually got this from angler's choice you guys can pick these up too it's a half ounce i've been throwing this quite a bit out here on this lake and they do they do like it i don't know what it is i don't know if it's these nice blades the mega bass had these real nice fancy blades too but good fish hey <laughs> there we go look at that beat him where are the water temps been today ranging from like 61 to 60 Four? 61 to 65. 61 to 65. And the creeks were definitely warmer. Mm hmm. Creeks were. I think it's just pretty shallow water. Yeah, a little bit dirtier too. Like and when we were up lake, when we ran up there and yeah, fished, well, like it was definitely dirtier. Like looking at the spinner bait in this water versus when we were up there, big difference. Is there anything big in there? Uh, uh yeah, dude. I'm gonna catch one right here.
don't think he's gonna help. But that was cool. Do we got a coal? No. I don't know. Right. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, get your rod. <laughs> I thought there was a fish. All right, let's see what we got, buddy. Hey, I know we didn't get 25 pounds, but we did pretty good. Here they come. My little boy. Oh! All right, here we go, fish number one. Let's see what he weighs. 187. I'm gonna say he's a little smaller. Ah! It's like the one thing I was avoiding, getting spined. I pulled two fish spines out of my hands in the last month. Uh, first time ever, so, one, three, two. One, five, one, ooh, one, three, eight. Now we'll weigh the big ones. They're ready to come out. Five, two, two. Three, oh, two. Maybe that was mine. I don't oh, know. No. They're dude. They're both good fish. Five two zero. Hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, we got, that's... we got a little excited then. But the head. I mean, look at the head. Like when you like, look at this fish, this like from get off. Like yeah. from here down. Like it just looks massive. That's a pretty fish. Sixteen sixty nine. Was our best buy. Five Bertha. Swimming off like she should. See you later, good looking. I think that's where we're finishing. Are we good? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Golden hour. It is yeah, golden, dude. I know it's you so look warm. Golden. Do I? That's because I had an amazing day. It was so fun. We had. Um, Almost 17 pounds for five, not even close to 25 pounds, but anytime you go out and catch two fives and a couple other good ones and you have a good day with your friend, it's always an amazing, amazing way to finish the day off. Um, we did catch some good fall fish. Our most productive bait was probably the spinner bait. Hunter caught a five and multiple others on his little mega bass spinner bait. I caught some on the depth spinner bait as well, uh, the three pounder and maybe one or two other small ones. But then obviously the phony Glide caught a pretty big fish for me. That was awesome. I think that's about it as far as baits. I did catch one on a crankbait, but nothing too crazy. Don't forget to run around a bunch when you're fishing this time of year. Like check the creeks, check the main lake, check different types of cover. Just go have fun. Catch some big ones, look for lots of bait, and try top water. Don't be like us. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button here on Angler's Choices YouTube channel. We'll see you on the next one.